What up, y'all? It's your boy C for three, man. And we do this shit, you know? And uh, this is the first video I want to make for my YouTube channel, man. I'm starting this channel today to motivate people like me or people who like me, who love basketball. And um, they love it so much, they think about it like on and off the court. So I feel like basketball for me is something I could take on the court and I learn different things and off the court I learn different things about life and uh, I've been on YouTube and like I watch a lot of things on YouTube I'll be seeing different channels and shit I read a lot of books and shit and I was like damn I wish I had a channel that was like motivation for basketball motivation for life and then just do it like tie that shit in cause you know I always think things in different ways different perspectives so um this is my first video to introduce my channel to y'all you know hopefully I can grow it or whoever gravitate to it is something in the spirit. Cause I'm um, also with this basketball thing, I want to introduce spiritualism. Cause um, I tell a lot of people, basketball for me is spiritual. It's um, deep. And uh, people who play basketball, that go by the ball is life type of moniker or the ball is life thing, we feel like this is it. Like we have a call into it, can't put it down. You might be a coach, you might be an assistant, you might some somebody that's a shooting coach or a strength coach. like ball is life in different areas or a fan who just you into stats you into the cards you into 2k video games like ball is life on so many different areas so i was like damn you know i feel like that's me like basketball in all realms all realities you can learn so much about it so um that's how i want to introduce myself that's how i want to come off that's my mold that's my goal my bass my goal that's my motivation that's kind of how i feel and i want to help somebody through these videos like um youtube i feel help a lot of people so through my videos i'm gonna try to reach out motivate people um help them reach certain goals uh, reach different self-esteem confidence and like i say along with that confidence come that spiritual aspect of knowing themselves. and um i've been on this journey for like over six years now since like 2014 i picked up the ball again seriously and started balling and i've been learning about myself in ways great 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 magnitude you know so i just want to share that experience share some of the knowledge and wisdom i know see if anybody relate just talk man you know create a channel man my homies back home motivate them to do some things um it's a lot of things man so um i just want to be a real person right now and it's also coronavirus season and during coronavirus you never know with jobs and stuff i'm losing hours i'm gaining hours it's an up and down thing so um I just want to try to create my platform and not even to say money wise and shit like that but just create a way to have an outlet because a lot of people stuck inside a lot of people like damn man i don't know what to do uh fuck it everybody got outlets everybody got somebody in their neighborhood everybody got a neighbor a friend a cousin a brother a sister i mean we don't all gotta be big showtime but you know shit like that it resonated with me you know because in the spirit you never know you gotta pay attention to your life so um yeah i'm at work right now man just chilling just thinking about how um it's crazy it's coronavirus right now i really don't know what to talk about this is a video of me introducing myself i go by c for three i like to shoot threes you know Always got the ball right now. It's coronavirus, so you can't really do nothing, man. Always could do something. And that's what I want to put in my motivation. We always could do something, but you can't really do something. You can't really do nothing right now. Like, you can't go... Well, in mass, you can't really go to the, the, the parks and hoop. They got crosses on the hoops. The gym shut down. But in Louisiana, I hear they thugging. I hear they still hooping and shit, so... A couple videos y'all might see on this. Um, I might be in Louisiana shooting shit, you know? Just trying to get it right, workouts and stuff. But uh, like y'all see, I'm at work. Y'all see the tickets behind me. I always got the motherfucking ball with me a little bit, working on my handles. Always, man. That's what I want to tell y'all, man. I'm always working on it. Even in Corona, you can't. But I'm getting a little cho-cho. I got the ball with me, making my first video with y'all. Whoever see this, man. I'm just trying to build in confidence, too. I'm in college also, too. I'm a um, baller. You know, I, I do ball, man. So maybe I can help some of the younger generations, people that's in high school, middle school, even elementary, man. People who love ball, you gravitate to it. You may gravitate to these videos and be like, yo, man, this is me, you know? Especially right now, the coronavirus, forcing people to really find passions because we more than just our nine to five jobs have to know ourselves at all times, you know? 
And it was like, I always had a strong connection to basketball. I never knew why, but um, so I'm gonna talk about it in the rest of my video is just why. But right now it's like an introduction to my C for three channel, man. I'm trying to just start, you know, start a little something new. You know, 2020, 10 years from now, I look back at these videos, might have a little gray hair, who knows? I'm 27 right now, y'all. I look back in these videos 10 years from now, I'll be 37 years old. I can see my own spiritual self grow. And um, you never know, man. You know, that's what it's all about, growth. That's what we doing on life. We, we living and we growing, you know? We living, we growing. It's just life. And I'm at work right now, so I might get interrupted. There's real stuff in my videos, I don't know. I'm trying to make some real shit, you know? I'm at work right now. You know, that's my pretty little red car out there. Took me a while to get that shit, but yeah, that's some real shit with me, man. You know, I'm at work in the videos. It's raining too, so I picked the real spiritual day to start this shit. <laughs> Starting my videos on coronavirus season. 420 was yesterday. I smoke weed too, so I want to talk about that. You know, and somebody coming in right now, as I just said on cue. See, real spiritual stuff. I feel it, man. Feel like I spoke down to existence. Somebody just came right in this thing. Let's see. Might be a quick interaction, might be a short one. How you doing? What's going on? Nobody on the road. Yeah, nah, it's coronavirus, it's quiet, it's just mm -hmm. that type of day. Exactly, it's just dreary and blah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Alright, beautiful. Catch you later. Man. So that was a customer right there, man. I she kind of cute, y'all. I could have asked for her number. But, um, y'all see I'm doing spiritual talks right now. I'm not in a number getting mode. But it's quiet, like she said. Dreary, all that type of stuff. I picked that type of day to start that video. Like, I'll probably do some more videos when I'm not at work so I can be more concentrated. But, uh, it's real, man. It's real. It's real life, man. Age of Aquarius, man. Talk about all type of stuff that I know, man. I know a little bit. You know, it's got a lot of channels on YouTube. And if I watch this video, y'all can learn from a lot of other channels, man. I watch a lot, man. I'll be dropping them in a few. But um, one of the channels I like, I like The Peacemaker. I like Flight Boss. I like um, Teal Swan. I like um, I like a lot of channels. I like a lot of obscure shit, too. Like, people that don't got a lot of subscribers. Like, I just be watching. I be going through different pages and just finding stuff I like, you know. Uh, this like on Google too. You just go on Google and find out a lot of stuff, man. But like I say, man, basketball, spiritual talks. That's what this about. That's what I'm about. I want to reach out to people through these videos, man. Try to help people find their voice. Maybe I'm still finding my voice. You know, I'm from Louisiana. I'm living in Mass. I've been through a lot. You know, sometimes it's hard to speak out. But um, I know a lot of people who dead and gone. And they probably wish they could speak out on some things. So. You know, that's what the vibe is. This is Age of Aquarius. Age of Aquarius is about this new technology type shit, new way of thinking, fixed air, fixed way of thinking. So fixed way, fixated on like the way we think about some shit, as opposed to like trying to be mutable with other people or being cardinal, coming up with new ways and new ways to think about the universe. It's like we should already know what's going on. You see how COVID got us acting, so. You know, it's the age of Aquarius. You need to get with the program. Technology here. I'm talking to y'all through the phone, you know. That's just a little tidbit, man. Just a little tidbit. Like I say, C for three, man, intro. Got so much in my head, like I be want to talk about, you know. But right now, you know, 27, I'm a baller. I'm just like y'all. I'm a normal nigga, man. I'm a normal dude from the hood. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, man. Shout out to my people out there. Shout out to everybody in Boston, Lowell, Mass. 
Haverhill, Lawrence, you know, Methuen, all over, man. Fuck some people, man. Out there in Dorchester, man. It's real out there in BR, man. Gonzalez, Bayou Paul, you know, Lafayette, everywhere. My homies from New Orleans, you know. Everybody in BR. Just a ball of that being around. You know, basketball keep you out of trouble, too. I know a lot of y'all know that shit, too, man. So, right now in quarantine, you ain't got no choice but to kind of stay out of trouble, man. Unless somebody trying to jack you or something, you know? But yeah, make some more videos, man. Hopefully some people see this. Y'all drop comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think I should talk about, make videos about. I'm still planning out everything. Like I say, 420 was yesterday. Smoked out. Had a good day. Just like Steven Jackson and Matt Barnes got their podcast, man. You know, it's just it's just different times, man. Different times, man. Football players coming out, talking about they smoke a little bit. Basketball players, talking about they smoke. Now, you don't want to fuck up yourself with smoking, but we talk about all that later, like I say. There's so much to talk to, talk about. So many people to talk to, too. About sports and religion and how I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. And there's a lot to get into. A lot to get into. But man, just want to motivate people to just do their thing, man. Especially my basketball players. You got a calling to play ball in your life, man. Fuck with it. Do it. You never know how high you can soar for yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually. You know, basketball, you just learn a lot about yourself. You learn what you can do, your limitations. You learn how to grow. You learn how to work with others. Leadership, you learn how to get along with other people inside the Zodiac wheel, how things correlate, how coaches correlate, how you, you just learn a lot, you know, on and off the court, man. So, you know, it's a probably long intro intro video, but um, kind of rambling, but I just want to stress that, man. I just want to stress that, man. I love ball, man. This is what I do. I love it. You know, I got the ball with me right now. I probably be putting drills and stuff that I do. See for three. I love to shoot threes, man. Probably help y'all. Some of y'all get y'all shot right. You know, or the confidence to take the, the crazy shots in the game. Just yak them, you know. But that come from hard work to start yakking them, you know. At the Jordan right there, you know, we we ballers. We represent, man. See for three. We ballers represent, man. You know. And just, man, keep the fate, too. Keep the fate. Think about ball, too. A lot of ups and downs on that court. If you're a star player or a role player, you know, LeBron James go through the same ups and downs as probably somebody on the end of the bench in war waves than y'all think, as I'm thinking, just, you know, playing time and being a superstar. Nah, we all basketball players and we all spiritual beings as far as the people that's basketball players watching it. So, you know. And we all spiritual people, so there's ways we can relate. And, you know, they even, uh, I think LeBron James got that movie, um, More Than Just a Game or More Than Basketball. And that came out when I was a kid. So things like that inspired me to speak up and talk about on a level, elementary level, bitty ball level, middle school level, high school, junior college, college, professional, overseas, uh, retired basketball, recreational, street ball, playing with your friends, horse, free throw challenge. Basketball is ball, you know, I'm telling you, and that's how I'm looking at it. Like, see, for three, and people who love ball like me, man, we love it, man. We love it. We love it. It's, it's just what we do. You know, it's a way to express ourselves. Like, uh, a lot of artists express themselves through painting. Writers express themselves through writing. And I do love writing, but they got so many ways to express yourself. I think basketball is a great way. Like, I think Kyrie Irving said it's an art form, and Kyrie knows that he ever wear his shoes. He got very expressive shoes. And a lot of spiritual different views and that stuff. We could break all that shit down. You know, it's a lot. So, uh, you know, like I say, see for three. I, I see I see it in basketball in a lot of different ways. I see time three when I think about basketball. I just, you know, all type of ways, you know. And the reason why people do that, like, a lot of stuff, man. You know? A little dry mouth down. Been talking my first video. I ain't even used to making videos, y'all. And I've been on YouTube before. Younger me and my brother's making videos in Louisiana, dribbling and rapping and stuff, freestyling, having fun with our friends. But I want to just try it. I'm almost 30, y'all, so I just want to try to do a little something different, man. You know, be myself and introduce different concepts and ideas in video format. Trying to be a little bit more new school with it. Hopefully I get better with my video techniques and my video locations. But um, just introducing myself to y'all, just trying to 
chit chat, you know, show y'all a little bit. You know, talk about my love for the game. My favorite player growing up was Mike Bibby. Y'all know y'all can hear the music in this background. This Mick Jagger type shit, my job, he playing. Like I said, I'd probably try to find better locations to record, but um, yeah, my favorite player growing up, Mike Bibby. Sacramento Kings, that's when I fell in love with the game, man. Watching him and Kobe duel it out, R.I.P. Kobe, man. Everybody in my class was like, oh, I'm, a, I'm going with Kobe, Kobe. And I just saw Mike Bibby pulling up, like, shooting threes, off the pick, off the dribble, quick crossovers, uh, pull up, uh. And, like, it was hype. Like, Bibby had hit the shots. Ah. And, you know, you in school, you know, even when you back in school, if I got some young kids watching this right now, some of my dudes in grade school right now, y'all in school right now, you probably comparing yourself. You probably know if you're going to be taller than the competition or you're going to be relatively that size. So I was in, like, fifth, sixth grade thinking I'm going to be 6'1". I just had a feeling. That's what I'm talking about in my channel. You just kind of have a feeling. You know yourself at a young age. But anyways, I knew that somehow. Just to say, I knew that, and I became up to be six foot. I'm six one, six one, six foot right now, and you know I'm just watching Bibby pull up. Like uh -uh, I want that game style. I want to be able to shoot threes, get hype, be that like flame spark, you know. And uh, I kind of predicate my game on that. So you see, C for three, man, it go deep. I love the three point shot, man. That's my weapon, and uh, I've been loving it since Bibby. Honestly, that's why he's my favorite player. Even though they couldn't beat the fucking Lakers, Kobe a fucking monster but um yeah it go deep i love ball I mean, ever since that old 02 03 kings team like 01 02 ish you know i kind of watched jordan with my uncle recording the taste but you know he's young i wouldn't really fall in love but you know when you ah oh, yeah like ah this is what i want to do and you know the players and everything you know yeah so Bibby, my favorite player. I like to shoot them threes, you know. Uh, Kobe, he was one of the greats, man. Kobe, Kobe, man, if, if you was a child during Kobe watching eight, that shit was, like, magical. I was surprised he changed his number. I was like, eight is a, eight is a demon. Eight was, ah. Niggas were scared to go against eight. I seen it in their eyes. Like, vets, young cats, eight was coming. And 24 with the mama was cold too, but you know, I grew up in the eight era, you know. I was born in 92, y'all, so I grew up in the eight eras, you know. But yeah, C for three, man, we do this, man. Know yourself, ball alert type shit, man. You know, we do this shit, man. That's what we just do this shit. Let's like Nike just do it. We do this shit, though. You know, we don't just do it, we do this shit, man. You know, I don't care if it was Nikes. I got to wear a fucking pair of fucking curries. I got to wear a fucking pool. We, we going to hoop. We going to get it up. You know, on my team, a nigga had blue his shoe out one day. He was wearing LeBron's. I threw him a pair of the Kyrie's. I like, man, we do this shit. We got to hoop. You know, so C for three, man. We, we do this, man. You know? I love the street ball game, too. I grew up. I call myself, I grew up like a street baller, but I learned to become like a prep player, co collegiate player, you know? So, um... I love the street ball game for all my street niggas watching this on my street hoopers. I love the street game. You know, you always catch me at like a local LA fitness or a street game playing park. Like on 2K, like I'm one of them niggas. I love that park, that wreck shit. Oh, yes. Like, yeah, that's where I get it at. Because it's like, you know, ballers know you can play free. You can pull up, do your thing. You know, organized ball. Some of y'all don't know. The coaches be having tight rings on that shit. So, you know, I love the street ball, man. I could play my Mike Bibby Curry type game, you know. <laughs> I'm a smaller dude, so, you know, you learn little tricks and bumps of the trees and list different things, you know. A lot of different things. Defensive angles, angles, footworks. You know, we're going to talk about all that on here, man. We